Hey, what's up everybody? Fuller here again and with another MetaSound video. And in today's video, I am going to show you a really cool trick that I learned from Dan Reynolds at Epic Games. So this is uh, straight from the dude that helped uh, make the software. And so this is uh, basically a way to time stretch audio inside the Unreal Engine, like drum loops or synth loops or stuff like that, to uh, manipulate it based on the BPM. Uh, and without changing the pitch. So it's a really cool trick uh, and there's a couple little nodes in here that'll be really helpful to show you how to do that. It's not nearly as hard as I originally thought it was. Me and my friend Gabriel came up with all these cool formulas and stuff and kind of got it working, but Dan kind of helped me clarify there's a one simple node that you can use to make it really easy and I'm gonna show you how to do it and it works a little bit of something like this. All right, so I built this little uh, TB303 type thing and I'm gonna start it. Right now you hear the synth engine, which is, uh, can be, it's got eight steps here, and then you hear a little percussion loop that I made underneath it, and watch this. I'm gonna change the tempo, and you're gonna hear the synth loop change, and you're gonna hear the drum loop change without altering the pitch. And the synth loop is actually generated from a, a saw wave, and you can actually change the pitches here. Change a couple pitches. So this is kind of pretty cool in and of itself. So this is a lot like the uh, TD303, I think it is, or whichever one Boss made, or Roland made. You can turn off individual steps. But you, as you hear, the drum loop is perfectly in sync. The original tempo is 100, so this is the original tempo. And you can hear it stretches pretty good. Pretty clean, considering how drastic this is. So this is super awesome feature and pretty cool. All right. Okay, so that's how it works, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in the blueprint. So uh, I'm not gonna go into the meta sound itself and all that stuff necessarily because there's a lot of other videos on my channel about how to do that. This is just about how to time stretch audio based on the BPM. Um, and here it is. And this is all it. This is all it is. This is real simple. There is some algorithm stuff happening underneath this node. Um, and also, feel free to go check out Dan's channel. Uh, he's a genius, and so I think you'll learn a lot about meta sounds over there. So um, here's how it works. You have your base BPM, which would be the. Uh, this is just a variable, and this is the actual tempo of the audio file. So the percussion loop that I have set up over here, this is at 100 BPMs. And so when you hear that, that's what you're hearing. And I put the tempo in the title of the audio file, which is always good to do. Um, so what this does is it sets the base BPM of what that is. We're gonna need that number to change the ratio of the BPM frequency to a semitone, which is what the pitch node does. So um, what we're doing is we're using the pitch shift node to literally change the pitch, which is literally time stretching the audio, but we're doing it with a formula that's calculated based off of BPM. Um, and so uh, what you do is you have your base BPM, so you set that, in this case it's 100, and then you have the input BPM. And what this is, this is a variable that we're feeding to the meta sound. And so if we wanna go up to 95, that input BPM becomes 95. Or if we wanna slow it down to 70, that input BPM becomes 70. So now what we're telling is we're telling the meta sound this is the new tempo. And so what this is doing, uh, we got a little math here, we are dividing the new tempo by the base tempo of the audio file. So this is always gonna stay at 100 because that's the math, we need that for the math. Um, so we're dividing the new tempo by the base tempo. That's what this is, a little divide node. And then what we're doing, so that's given us a BPM ratio, so that's given us literally like a frequency ratio of BPM, the new BPM 
to the uh, original BPM, what's that ratio, then that is being converted. And this is the money node right here. And this is what Dan told me about, which is real helpful. So this is the frequency multiplier to semitone converts a frequency multiplier to the corresponding difference in semitone. So what we're doing basically is we're taking the difference, that ratio of BPMs, and we're converting it by math to what that would equal in semitones. So if you're at 100 BPM, the difference between 100 BPMs and 102 BPMs, the difference between those, what is that in semitones? Because then what we're gonna do is we are going to change the pitch shift by that amount. Now, the reason you can't just divide the tempo is because BPMs are algorithmic, meaning the difference between 80 BPMs and 82 BPMs is a lot bigger than the difference between 180 BPMs and 182 BPM because it's faster. So because you have the 60 BPM as your main, you know, that's what we use to determine BPMs, beats per minute, 60 is how we, so one beat per second is 60 beats per minute. And so obviously the slower your song is, the wider that gap is between BPMs and the faster your song is, the more narrow that gap is. So you can't just divide the BPMs and do the pitch shift because it's algorithmic. So what this node, I'm not exactly sure what this node is doing, but I'm pretty sure what it's doing is it's doing an algorithmic or a logarithmic math. Um, and it's something like, you know, the input BPM divided by the base BPM log two divided by negative 12, because that's how many semitones are in an octave. Something is happening under the hood, but it doesn't matter, because all you gotta do is use the frequency, multiplier to semitone node, and then you drive it to pitch shift. Now, here's the one little trick. When you change the pitch of an audio file, it's literally stretching it shorter and longer and it's actually changing it. So when you speed up an audio file, it goes up in pitch. So if you were doing the drums, if you sped it up, the drums would get higher in pitch or lower in pitch if you sped it down. So what we wanna do is we wanna offset that. And the way you offset that is whatever the number is you're feeding the pitch, you multiply that by negative one. So that gives you the inverse of that. And then you use this delay pitch shift. And what the delay pitch shift does, it actually just transposes the audio. So if you're in the key of C, you can take that up to D or take it down to B and it won't change the tempo, it just changes the pitch. So here we're changing the pitch of the audio, which is changing the speed, and then we're compensating for it by adding the delay pitch node out of the audio. So we're actually taking this out of the audio output and we're pitching this back to where it was. So, so uh, however much you adjust the speed, then you compensate by readjusting the pitch so that it stays at the pitch you want it. And then of course you drag it out. So in theory, it's kind of simple to do. You just gotta know how to do it, which is kind of complicated. Um, and so again, input divided by the base, frequency multiplier to semitone, out to the pitch shift. This is where our drum loop is coming from, by the way. And just to show you this meta sound, and this is, uh, again, I'm not deep diving into the meta sound, but we're sending this, uh, we're playing the sequencer out here uh, through a saw wave. And then uh, we're also playing this drum loop, both at the original tempo of 100. Now, um, so these are always gonna play in time. And then as you adjust the BPM, as you feed that BPM, and you can do that however you want, I'm just feeding it from these buttons over here um, in this blueprint. Sorry for the messiness. I, I just, you know, again, we're not deep diving this. We're just, I'm just showing you how it works. We're setting the tempo of the BPM here and it's feeding it to the, the meta sound. And so as you adjust that BPM parameter in real time, all this math is happening, calculating in real time. So you get two files perfectly in sync. So that is how you change the audio uh, speed based on BPM. Again, I mean, you can just use the pitch node and change the speed of an audio if you wanna speed it up or slow it down, but that's not very musical. It's nice to know, hey, I wanna go from 90 to 100 BPM, or I wanna to go to 100 BPM to 70 BPM, and that's how this node 
uh, this is a meta sound graph. This is actually not a blueprint. This is a meta sound graph. Sorry, I don't want to confuse you. Meta sound graph. So here it is. Simple formula, frequency multiplier to semitone node, and then times negative one to offset that with the delay pitch shift. And that puts us back right where we started. And can stretch it pretty hard. Pretty awesome. So anyways, hope this video has been helpful to you. I wish it, I had this video about a month ago, um, which is why I'm putting it up here now for the whole world to see, because uh, this is a cool feature and it's something that's kind of, you know, it's not readily available. So hopefully this helps. Hope you do some cool stuff with it. And uh, thanks again for checking out the video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel build followers and build algorithms so I get more views so that I can make more videos just like this one. Anyways, have an awesome time and we'll see you in the next video.